So you want a super simple bamboo farm with a flying machine that you can make an industrial size with. So this design, you can multiply, you can make it as long as you want, and you can even make it double the width of this if you really want. And this is a super simple design of a flying machine, just flying back and forth over some bamboo with some hopper mine carts underneath. This is an absolutely great design if you want some sort of uh, automated fuel source or to make an automated furnace array, something along those sorts. I would definitely recommend using this if you're gonna do that. And I think that this is gonna be the go-to design when 1.16 comes around and you can no longer do a zero tick farm. I was doing some testing with the output of this a little bit and it looks like we are gonna get about 2,500 bamboo an hour from this. So that'll keep your furnaces going for sure. Cool, so without further ado, let's get right into this build. I just wanted to shout out this comment really quick because I thought this was a really nice comment for someone to leave. If you want your comment to be highlighted in the future, all you gotta do is leave a nice comment on this video. If you guys wanna talk to me or have any questions for me, the best way to contact me is through the Discord, which is linked below. Okay, let's get back into the content. So to start off this build, you just need to figure out where you want to build this thing. And now we're going to put the back wall for all the hopper mine carts. So count out 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that's the back wall of the mine cart. So now we need to run mine cart rails all the way across however long we want to make this. And I'm going to make this maybe 16 blocks long. Um, you can make this as long or short as you want to make it. But yeah, if you want to make this longer than 16, you definitely can. If you want to make an industrial style one, I'm just going to go ahead and make it 16 blocks long and eight blocks or 10 blocks wide. Now that we have a 16 by eight triangle of all of uh, these rails, we need to figure out where to put the power source to power all of them. So just find somewhere where you can put the power that will power all of them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dig underneath all these and we're gonna put the power source underneath the ground. And I'm using switches just cause I want it to be cheap. You can go ahead and use some like redstone blocks if you want just underneath all these to power them. Let's go ahead and use switches just because it's cheap in this tutorial. So now what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure you put down switches and you switch all of them. I'll go ahead and open this up so you can see what I'm doing. And you just wanna make sure that there's a switch on each and every one of the blocks on the underside of it. And now we can just trap those in there and leave those in there forever. Now that we have this rectangle with the power rail and they're all powered, what we need to do is take out all the power rails that go up against these spruce planks right here. We need to take out the dirt that's underneath it, take out two extra on the side. We can put our collection chest so everything outputs there. And then we need to put in a line of hoppers that are all facing into the chest like that, but make the line go all the way back. Now that all the chests are in place, now we can shift click and put all of the power rails back on top like so. Those are all in place. And the next step is to put down another uh, full block on the other side of the rails. I'm using spruce planks. And that's just so that hopper mine carts can bounce back and forth on those. The hoppers underneath this, uh, underneath the hopper mine carts is gonna pull the items out of the hopper mine cart and it's gonna put everything into that chest. Once we have this set up, then we can click the hopper mine carts onto the power rails like so. And all of those should be going. The next step, once you have all the hopper mine carts going, is to put a material that bamboo can grow on. They can grow on a lot of different things. I'm just gonna use grass because I think grass looks good and it's cheap. And we need to cover the top of every single power rail with um, grass. Now that all of the grass is in place, I want to kind of enclose the hopper and mine carts a little bit just to protect it from any water spillages that may happen. So we're gonna put glass around the sides here. Um, you can put glass right on top of that chest. That chest will still be able to open. Now that all of that is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put a border all the way around it with spruce planks just to kind of make it look a little bit better than just having the dirt poke out of the side like this. Now that we have that border around it, let's bring up the walls of glass around the side by three blocks. Now that we have the walls of glass on each side, we need to start thinking about how the flying machine is going to work. So if we're gonna set up the flying machine to be about here, then we need the flying machine to come out by four on this side, put a glass block on the end, uh, four slime blocks on this side, and then a glass block on the end there. Get a sticky piston, make sure the sticky piston looks like that, and that's into that slime block right there, and another one right there. And then we need an observer facing downwards into the slime block like that. 
And we're also gonna need one on this side as well, like that. And the flying machine is done. Now we just need to set up the return stations. You need an immovable block and we're gonna put it to behind where the flying machine should rest. Make sure that the arm that is most facing away from the return station um, hits is or is over the grass blocks right here. Then we need a, an observer facing into where it's gonna dock. We need a repeater set to two ticks on top of that observer. A redstone dot in the back like so. And then we're gonna put a trap door on his face when we're ready to launch this thing. We're gonna hold off and not do that quite yet. Let's fill in the glass a little bit here. But then anywhere where the slime block slime slime blocks are gonna touch needs to be covered in leaves. Leaves do not stick to the sticky blocks, to the slime blocks. So that's why we use leaves there. This side we can just cover in glass. That spot right there needs to be leaves. Those three and the rest we can just make glass. So it should look like this when we're all done with this return station. All we're gonna have to do is put a trap door on his face when ready to get this thing going. So now we're gonna mirror that on this side. So make sure this immovable block is one, two, three off of the spruce planks right here, and then one, two, three back. And again, we're gonna need that observer facing that way. We're gonna need a redstone repeater set to two ticks. We need the redstone dot in the back there. And let's go ahead and put a, a lever on it so that we can turn it on and off. And on this one, we need the trap door right there. Now we can get rid of that observer. And we can put the trap door here. And now the flying machine will move and come over to this dock. I've turned it off by switching that on, so it should rest right there. Now what we can do is fill in where there should be leaves on this side. So we can go ahead and do something like that. And then on this side, just put leaves everywhere where the slime blocks are going to be resting just to cover all that up. And then we can put glass everywhere where the slime blocks do not rest. So it should look like this when we're all done. And the only thing we have left to do is to put the bamboo on every single slot in here, every single grass space. Now this thing is all done. I put bamboo on every single space. Now we can just turn it on and the slime, the flying machine will just go back and forth and hit all of the bamboo. It's gonna break off. It's gonna shoot down below where the hopper minecarts are going to catch it and they're all gonna end up over here. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you out or you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like, that helps me out a lot. If you like Minecraft automation or you wanna see what's going on on StrangeCraft server and all the things that we're getting into there, definitely subscribe. And that's a good way for you to hang out with me in the future and I'd love to see you in all my future videos. Cool, take care for now, bye-bye.